The culture of Greece has evolved over thousands of years, influenced and enriched by Persian Empire, Latin, Ottoman Empire, Venetian Republic and British Empire. People called the Greek or Hellenes. Greek mythology is the body of myths and teaching that belongs to the ancient Greece. It was a part of the religion in ancient Greece. Greek mythology is explicitly embodied in a large collection of narratives and implicitly in Greek representational arts. Greek myth attempts to explain the origins of the world adventures of a wide variety of gods, goddesses, heroes, heroines and mythological creatures. These accounts were initially disseminated in an oral poetic tradition. Today, the Greek myths are known primarily from Greek literature. Greek is spoken by 99% of the population. Greek cuisine is a Mediterranean cuisine. Greek art has mainly five forms, architecture, sculptures, paintings, poetry, pottery and jewellery. In reality, However, the Renaissance started in Italy, then spread slowly to other European countries, most notably France, Spain, England. One that was inspired by the classics of ancient Greece and Rome, and an age that would define the world for the next several hundred years. New styles of art were introduced, frescoes, paintings, sculptures, architecture, scientific discoveries, circulatory system, space, anatomy. The greatest idols of these creations that changed the world. Da Vinci, Galileo, Copernicus, John Calvin, Erasmus, Donatelli, Michelangelo, Raphael, Shakespeare, Petarac, John Dunn, Ben Johnson, Christopher Marlowe, Francis Bacon, Columbus, Vasco da Gama, Queen Elizabeth, King Henry VIII, Geoffrey Chaucer. This is the revival of art, science and maths, literature philosophy, music and dance, and language. A widespread renewal of interest in classical Greek and Roman learning and culture that took place between the Middle Ages and the modern period. This is Renaissance. The oldest known Greek literary sources are Homer's epic poems, Iliad and Odyssey, that focus on the Trojan War and its aftermath. Homer was believed by the ancient Greek to have been the first and the greatest of the epic poets, authors of the first known literature of Europe. When he lived, as well as whether he lived at all, is unknown. Herodotus estimates that Homer lived no more than 400 years before his own time. Plato referred to him as the first teacher of tragedy, the leader of learning and the one who taught Greece.
legend, the creator of the Odyssey, is here to share something with us. I am Homer, the creator of the great epic, the Odyssey. Do you know who is the inspiration behind my great efforts? Athena, goddess Athena, who played a major role in my epic. Athena, goddess of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, mathematics, strength, war strategy, in ancient times. She is calm, gradually moves to anger. She fights for a genuine reason. In fact, she dislikes fighting without purpose and prefers to use wisdom to settle predicaments. Goddess Athena is said to be the offspring of Zeus. When an oceanid Mitis became pregnant, Zeus swallowed her. The unborn baby stored in his head, Hephaestus struck over Zeus' head with an axe to release the goddess from his head. Athena emerged from Zeus' head in full armor. Athena is said to be Zeus' favorite daughter. Athens is named after Athena. She was the patron goddess of Athens. Athena and her uncle Poseidon were both very fond of a certain city in Greece. Both of them claimed the city. It was decided that one that could give the finest gift should have it. Leading the procession of citizens, the two gods mount in the Acropolis. Poseidon struck the side of the cliff with his trident and a spring welled up. The people marveled, but the water was salty and not very useful. Athena's gift was an olive tree, which was better because it gave the people food, oil and wood. Athena named her city Athens. <laughs>